Hello everybody. I'm back to do my very last video for 2020. And this one's gonna be very special because today I'd like to show you something that I like to collect. But before I start, my question is, is there anything that you guys like to collect? Oh wow, those all sound awesome. Maybe you have a collection of baseball cards or coins or stamps or toys or maybe seashells that you picked up from your travels to the beach or something that's very special to you. So I want to share something that's really special to me. Now if you watched any of my holidays around the world videos, you'll know that I also collect ornaments from around the world and I made my travel tree. And the thing that I'm going to show you today is going to be from all over the world as well. They're called nativity scenes. And I'm sure you've seen them before. They're little figures of Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. And they're all a little bit different. And maybe they have the wise men or the shepherds or some of the animals or the star or the angels. Or maybe it's just Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. But here's one that I showed you in my holiday around the world videos. And that's what I'd like to share with you today. I wish I could show you my whole collection, but it's way too big. I um, am lucky enough to be able to travel all over the world, so now I have over 100 of these nativity scenes. So I've just picked out a few that I'd like to show you today. And I know if you go to my church, you know that I usually set them up at church down the hall and I have all of them on display with the little flags of where they're from. And I wish I could have done that, but it just didn't seem right to do that this year. So hopefully again next year I'll be able to display them. And maybe some of you can stop by and see the display as well. But I am going to add a video um, to this video of something that I filmed at church where they were all on display. So you can see some of the ones that I'm not going to get a chance to show you today. If you watch some of the Holiday Around the World videos, you know that um, in several different countries I had mentioned that nativity scenes are extremely popular. Some of them, that's their main decoration in their house for Christmas instead of a Christmas tree. So places like Italy, France, Germany, Malta, several European countries, and then um, they're really popular across South America, Central America, and the Caribbean. And some people call them different things. So I call them nativity scenes, but you can also hear them called manger scenes or cribs. In French speaking countries, they call it a creche. And then in Spanish countries, you might hear it called presbio, presbri, or nascimento. Ooh, that's hard to say. So you're probably wondering how in the world I started this collection. Did I just like the nativity scenes? Well, yes, of course. But I have a couple of reasons why I started my collection. The first one was that when I lived in Canada, we bought a nativity scene there um, and it was made from another country. And it was something that I loved to set up every year. That was kind of like my thing. I would put out all the little pieces and I love to do that every year. And I wish I could show you that one, but it's kind of gotten misplaced in um, some of our Christmas decorations. So one day I hope to add it to my collection. But that's one of the reasons why I just love them so much. But once I was traveling in um, Canada and I was in Montreal and they had a cathedral there that I went to visit. And then in the basement of the cathedral, they had a huge museum set up and they were all nativity scenes from around the world. And I instantly just fell in love with them. Big ones, small ones, made of all different kinds of things. And I kind of got that in my head once I started traveling that that would be an excellent collection to start. And of course, the other reason why I'd like to do it is because it's fun for me to pick up something from all my travels to bring home as a reminder of my travels and different versions of nativity scenes. Okay, so enough of that talk. Let's see some nativity scenes. The cool thing about these are, again, they're all different sizes, shapes, and depending on where they're from, they use materials that might be prevalent or uh, popular where they live. So maybe they use wood or seashells or clay or things that they might have on hand. So let's see, I'm gonna start with some of the Caribbean islands and I'll start with some of my favorite ones. Now this is some sort of nut, coconut type thing. And then it is actually made in Peru, but I have not been to South America, but you can find a lot of these in Puerto Rico and some of the other Caribbean islands. So this one is from Peru and it doesn't look like much from the outside, but when you open it, 
it has a beautiful nativity scene inside with straw and clay pieces and the animals and then it has a beautiful painted design up here and I like this one because it has little feet and it can stand up so I'll put these out so you can see them all right now this next one is going to be from St. Lucia a Caribbean island and it is carved out of some sort of nut or wood but it's super light I wish you could have felt it I have no idea what it's made out of but it's really cool because inside they've got painted blue and they have white pieces in there of the Mary Joseph and baby Jesus that one's from St. Lucia then I've got a couple from a place called Curacao which is in the Caribbean so this one has a pretty flower and it has a hook that you can hang it up but where are all the pieces hiding you have to open it up and there's all of the figures Mary Joseph baby Jesus the wise men all of them the animals so there's another version of a nativity scene aren't they cool how different they are all right this one Someone forgot to write where it came from, but I'm pretty sure I picked this one up in Curacao as well. And I love this one because they use sand and shells and clay and wire. It's very beautiful. And they're usually all handmade. You can even see inside the baby Jesus, there's like a fingerprint from where someone had handmade it. Aren't they pretty? I like the colors on that one. All right, next up, I'm going to stick with some of the islands, and I'm going to show you a really beautiful one that I have picked up in Nassau, Bahamas. And it looks like this. And I love that somebody put the angel on the seashell in the back, and how the pieces are made with seashells. One of my favorites, for sure. People have asked which are my favorite ones and it's just simply too hard to choose. I love them all. This one is another one from the islands. This is from the island of Aruba and it's made with I think like corn husks and different little flowers and leaves. But it's another beautiful handmade one with things that they had on hand on the island. Another one, this is one of my smallest ones. This one's also from Aruba and it's a teeny tiny glass jar with just Mary Joseph and the baby. So cute. Now, people have started um, finding out about my collection and I started getting ones as gifts. So this little one from Aruba was a gift from my friend Kim that works on the cruise ship with me. Made out of clay. And then another teeny tiny one is one that's actually put inside of a nut and it's from Curacao. Look how small it is. You have to really zoom in to see this one. Hopefully it's not too blurry. I'll back up a little bit. There you go. That was hard to make and put inside that nut, wasn't it? And I'll kind of stay with the nut theme here. This one I bought in Puerto Rico, but it was made in Peru. And they put it inside of a nut, but they made it to look like a boat. Isn't that cool? So there, if you look inside, it's teeny tiny, but I see Mary Joseph, baby Jesus, a donkey, and a cow. So there's the little boat. This is from Aruba. And it was made from some nut that they have there. I can't remember what they said it was called. I'm going to show you a couple of these pieces, but it's really cool. It was a beautiful color blue, and it was all carved out of some sort of nut. So here's Joseph. This one is Mary. And then here is, whoops, here is the little tiny baby Jesus. And this one's kind of cute, too. It came with wise men and, some, and the animals, but look how cute that cow is. I'll set these up over here. Okay. Let me show you two more that were also made in Peru, but like I said, I have not been to Peru, but you can find them in other places. So this first one that I'm going to show you, I actually bought in Australia, but it was made in Peru. And I thought it was really cool because it's got the 
um, typical Mary Joseph and baby Jesus over here. But then it has the three wise men riding in on llamas or alpacas, which would be very popular in Peru. And it's all on the star. And another one from Peru that's very special to me because it was given to me as a gift. It has a little mat that it sits on. And this one, they're almost like little dancers. So here's Mary and Joseph. And then it came with the baby Jesus. And it came with little clay figures, figures of a cow and a donkey. So most of mine are fairly small because I have to be able to keep them in my suitcase. But a few of them I've got bigger ones. And I tried to keep them all um, one piece because it's harder to travel with. But some of them I just can't resist because they're really, really cool. Now let me show you some more. This one I bought in New Orleans. And the unique thing about it is that it's actually made from an oyster shell. So on the other side they've put... A star with Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus inside the oyster shell. I thought that was really unique. These next two are some of my favorites just because of the beautiful colors that they used. So these two are both from Mexico and this one's kind of funny because it's inside of a guy wearing a sombrero and there it is. So if you look inside you can see Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus. And some of the little animals in there too. Now this one's also kind of hidden. There's one inside this beautiful painted box. And if you open it up, you see the nativity scene. So here's the wise men coming in with their gifts, a beautiful angel, and Mary and Joseph. And then down here is the baby. Now I think I'll show you some that I picked up in Australia and New Zealand. This one is very unique, definitely different than a lot of the other ones I have. This is all done with like paper crafting and cutting out little pieces of paper. So it says Merry Christmas and then when you open it, it's like a pop-up card. How gorgeous is that? There's Mary and Joseph and then the baby and it even has one over here on the side very delicate. I think I'll have to put that one down here because I don't want it to get wrecked. Now this next one is from New Zealand and it's made from typical um, New Zealand wood and a very special pua shell right up at the top. It's a very nice wood one from a beautiful cathedral in Dunedin, New Zealand. All right, now let's head over to Europe. Some of these are some new ones I picked up. This one is another one of my favorites now. This came from one of my favorite places to travel, Valletta, Malta. So there's the figures of Mary Joseph and baby Jesus and some of the animals. This one, I have been to Germany, but I didn't pick this one up in Germany. I found this one in a Christmas store in Alaska. And it's in a box like this, kind of like a matchbook, matchbox, and then you open it up. And then you see the beautiful wooden figures inside. This next one I picked up in Barcelona. I thought they were super adorable. So this one is just Mary Joseph and baby Jesus. But then I've got the wise men to go with it. I'm sure you or may, may or may not have heard of um, Russian, Russian nesting dolls or Matryoshka dolls. Well, this one is from Russia, but I bought it in Alaska. And what do you think is inside? More pieces. So you've got Joseph, you've got Mary. I'll go down and show you. What else I've got hiding in here? There's one of the wise men. A little shepherd. And then if you open up the shepherd, inside you're gonna find the little baby Jesus. I'll put the little one here. 
This one I've had for several years. It's always been one of my favorites. This is from another one of my favorite travels is Tallinn, Estonia, one of the countries in Europe. So here's Joseph and Mary with the baby. This next one I picked up on my, I think my last contract in Europe and I went to um, Slovenia and I picked this up in on Lake Bled in Slovenia and it's made out of some sort of nut and it's really cool how detailed it is and how small it is. My next set I'm going to show you are all from Italy and they have so many beautiful ones in Italy. This one is made out of glass and I picked it up in Bellagio, Italy. It has a bell and a bow but it's all made out of glass. This one was from Civitavecchia, which is outside of Rome, but look how teeny tiny. This might be my very smallest one. I hope you can see that. <laughs> Another small one that I bought in Rome, it's inside like a Christmas tree jewelry box, and then when you open it up, there's these little metal figures inside of the manger scene. This one I bought in Toronto, Italy. Oh, it's kind of dark. This one's cool because it's round and then inside they've got the little figures and then the star in the top. This one I picked up in Bellagio, Italy. And I loved it because Joseph is holding a heart right over baby Jesus. Okay, I'm almost done. This one is super cool. It's made out of wood and it's from the Vatican outside of Rome. And not only does it light up, but it also plays music. Ooh, I'm sorry, I was trying to turn the light off. So you can see it better, there you go. So, very special to me that it plays music and lights up. All right, I'm down to my last ones. And these are very, very special because they are made out of olive wood from Bethlehem. And I purchased them when I went to Bethlehem and Jerusalem. And why is that important? Because that is where this actually happened, where the first nativity scene was, where the Christmas story began, was a place in Bethlehem. And now they have the Church of the Nativity there. So I purchased, let's see, um, these came from Bethlehem. This one is like a Christmas ornament with a tree. And then you can see the little figures. There's the wise men. There's the nativity. The angels are up at the top. Uh, the one I showed you before, this one came from Bethlehem, made out of olive wood. This one, someone purchased for me when they went to Bethlehem. So that one was a gift. And then I saved this one for last. This one was from Jerusalem and it's hand carved made out of olive wood. Isn't it gorgeous? So beautiful. There we go. So there's just a little sample of my collection of um, nativity scenes from all over the world. And now I'm gonna show you a video and some pictures from the last time I had them on display at church.
I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little part of my collection and something that's very special to me. Um, and you got to see some of them set up at church. I hope the next time, next year, when I set it up, you guys can come and see it and share that with me. And before I go, I know this is this video is kind of geared towards older kids or even adults, but I think you're never too old to hear the Christmas story. Now, of course, you can read it in your Bibles, and um, you can find it in two different places. You can find it in the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verses 18 through 25, but the most popular one that's used for Christmas is usually uh, the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. So um, I would encourage you to, to get your Bibles and to read it in your families for Christmas. But I picked this one out to share with you today. Um, I actually bought this in Malta when I bought my nativity scene, but this one is called Born on Christmas Morn. And you're never too old to hear the Christmas story. Come, my dear children, gather around. I'll tell you a story that's true of how God our Father sent his Son in love as a Savior for you. Mary and Joseph traveled for days, obeying great Caesar's decree, to go to their ancestral city to be counted and taxed properly. Joseph was born of King David's line. To Bethlehem he had to go, for this was the city of David, who had lived many years ago. So even though Mary was weary, expecting her child any day, they packed up their bags and they started on a long and difficult way. But when they arrived feeling tired, all weary and longing for rest, they found all the inns were too crowded to make room for another guest. A kind innkeeper pitied their plight and guided them to his stable. You can sleep here tonight if you wish. I'll bring fresh hay when I'm able. There in the stable, Mary gave birth and cradled sweet Jesus so warm. And though he was tiny and helpless, he was God in an infant form. Just outside Bethlehem, not far away, shepherds guided their sheep in the night. Suddenly the sky lit up like day, and the glory of God shone bright. Amazed, the shepherds fell to their knees. They shivered and cowered in fear, for an angel of God appeared to them and spoke in a voice loud and clear. Fear not, he said. I bring to you good news of great joy for mankind. In David's city is born this day a Savior, the Christ child divine. The shepherds all ran to the stable as quickly as their legs could move. And there they knelt to worship the Lord and gaze upon him with great love. Now listen, my children, I'll tell you. The reason we have Christmas morn, it was for the cross in Eastertide that our Lord Jesus Christ was born. He came here to love and to teach us. He came here to heal and to pray. But most of all, the Messiah came to die on a cross one sad day. For we all have hearts that are sinful. We have broken God's heart in two. And only the death of our Savior can give us life that is new. But do not forget the story's end. Christ did not remain in the grave. He rose again on Easter morn, and he lives to love and to save. So come now, my children, be joyful. Celebrate this day with great cheer. For Jesus was born on Christmas morn as a gift for all far and near. So this Christmas, as you're spending time with family, unwrapping your presents, I want you to remember the true meaning of the holiday, which is Jesus Christ coming down to earth as a little baby and then growing up to die on the cross for us. And I'm going to leave you with a few pictures from my trip to the Church of the Nativity and the actual spot where baby Jesus was laid in the manger and what it looks like now. Because there's 
a silver 12 point star to mark the spot and the beautiful stained glass window that is in the church of the nativity in Bethlehem. Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas this year and a fabulous start to the new year. Bye.